in today's video we'll be covering types of goods in economics in economics goods are items that satisfy human wants and provide utility for example to a consumer making a purchase of a satisfying product goods are said to possess various properties and they can be put into a spectrum based on the intensity of the properties that goods possess there are four categories of goods in economics which are defined based on two attributes the first attribute is the attribute of excludability or whether people can be prevented from using the good the second is whether a good is rival in consumption whether one person's use of the good reduces another person's ability to use it consider the spectrum of excludability first on one end of the spectrum a good or service is called excludable if it is possible to prevent people or consumers who have not paid for it from having access to it by comparison a good or service is non excludable if non paying consumers cannot be prevented from accessing it again we can consider the rivalry spectrum where on one hand a good is said to be rivalrous or a rival if its consumption by one consumer prevents simultaneous consumption by other consumers or if consumption by one party reduces the ability of another party to consume it note the use of the term simultaneous meaning that some rival goods can still be shared through time such rival goods are called durable rival goods for example when i read a book you may read the book later but cannot read the book simultaneously with me otherwise eatables are uh, otherwise eatables and other such items are called non durable rival goods most tangible goods are rival goods on the other hand a good is considered non rivalrous or non rival if for any level of production the cost of providing it to a marginal or additional individual is zero non rival goods may be consumed by one consumer without preventing simultaneous consumption by others most examples of non rival goods are intangible more generally most intellectual property is non rival in fact certain types of intellectual property become more valuable as more people consume them these are called anti rival goods a good can be placed along a continuum ranging from rivalrous to non rivalrous the same characteristic is sometimes referred to as jointness of supply or subtractable or non subtractable the television itself is a rival good but television broadcasts are non rival goods non rivalry does not imply that the total production costs are low but that the marginal production costs are zero in reality a few goods are completely non rival as rivalry can emerge at certain levels for instance use of public roads the internet or police law courts is non rival up to a certain capacity after which congestion means that each additional user decreases speed for others for that recent economic theory views rivalry as a continuum and not a binary category where many goods are somewhere between the two extremes of completely rival and completely non rival a perfectly non rival good can be consumed simultaneously by any unlimited number of consumers combination of these two attributes that is attribute of excludability and rivalry create four sub categories of goods hence there are four types of goods based on the characteristics of rival in consumption and excludability public goods private goods common resources and natural monopolies goods that are both non rival and non excludable are called public goods examples include clean air national defense and free to air broadcast tv it is generally accepted by mainstream economists that the market mechanism will under provide public goods so these goods have to be provide produced by other means including government intervention or government provision individuals cannot be effectively excluded from using them and used by one individual does not reduce the goods available to others examples of public goods include the air we breathe public parks and street lights public goods may give rise to the free rider problem a free rider is a person who receives the benefit of a good without paying for it this may lead to the under provision of certain goods or services on the other hand private goods are rival and excludable 
These include things like personal book. It is excludable because the owner can prevent anyone else from reading their book, as I had mentioned before. And it is rival because one person reading it prevents another from reading it at the same time. There are usually limited quantities of these goods and owners or sellers can prevent other individuals from enjoying their benefit. Because of their relative scarcity, many private goods or rather almost all private goods are exchanged for payment. For goods that are both non-rival and excludable are called club goods or natural monopolies. For example, fire stations can exclude people by deciding to let their house burn down. However, the fire protection is not rival in consumption. Once a fire department is built and paid taxes to, it doesn't cost much more to protect one more house. This type of good often requires a membership payment in order to enjoy the benefits of the good. Non-payers can be prevented from access to the goods. Cable television is a classic example. It requires a monthly fee but is non-rival in uh, payment. Common resources are rival in consumption and non-excludable. These include fish in the sea. When someone catches many fish, there are now fewer fish for the next person who comes by. But since the ocean is so big, there's no way to exclude other people from fishing. Because of these traits, common goods are easily overconsumed, leading to a phenomenon called the tragedy of commons. In this situation, people withdraw sources to secure short-term gains without regard for the long-term consequences. A classic example of a common good are fish stocks in international waters. No one is excluded from fishing, but as people withdraw fish without limits being imposed, the stocks for later fishermen are depleted. Through the following diagram, we can compare and contrast between the properties that each of these four goods possess. So as you can see, private goods are both excludable and rival. Examples of private goods are ice cream, cheese, houses, cars. They are usually the goods that people need to pay for. Non-excludable and rival goods constitute common property resources such as fresh air, fish, timber, pasture. Excludable and non-rival goods include club goods for which membership payments need to be made. These include cable television, cinemas, Wi-Fi, toll roads. Finally, non-excludable and non-rival goods constitute public goods for which usually government interventions are necessary. These include fresh air, knowledge, national defense, because as we know, national defense is a good that is provided by 